my partner over there in his Mercedes. So, if y'all wondering why, why in the fuck <laughs> are you in the dark? I'm not really in the dark. I just like the dark. But um, I wanted to show you what life coaching and what being a spiritualist has got in me and being the person that I call myself, which is Cult Manifesto, you know, uh, you know, I just want to show what it is all I manifested. So, uh, this is my room, okay? Feel me? Um, you know, uh, this is my humble abode, you know, come in. You got the the fixings, you feel me? Uh, it's everything. It's perfect. And I know it's probably awkward, but, bro, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm finna show you how to bathroom. <clears throat> Telling you when we came in this motherfucker, what two days ago, wasn't nothing in here, nothing whatsoever. That's a uh, big closet. Oh, let me get out of here though. That this not my room. This my partner room. My room is the biggest though because I don't have a uh, bathroom. But uh, yeah. Man, like, so, this is what I manifested, um, you know, and the main thing I wanted to mention, our new, our new stuff, all this space, fit me, all this stuff. It's the back room, which will be here for our guests. We're going to rent it out for Airbnb. And, um, last room on the dock. Documentary. I don't know if you dock it. I don't fucking know. It's this motherfucker. So, it's the bathroom I be using. Other than the shower, we got to get a shower curtain. But, yeah. I don't be playing with you motherfuckers. That's one thing I want y'all to know. And to never ever forget. I'm not playing with nobody. But okay, this is the most important part. I manifested this through listening to myself, my spirit, acknowledging everything that comes to my spirit really attracting things kind of like when you when you be steadfast to your spirit when you be like quick to respond say you get a thought and you pay attention to the thought and what angle it comes from as in like pure light energy what angle did it come from is it something that you should just observe or is it something that you should download is it something that's coming from a realm to tell you to do something, or is it a message, you know, all this stuff, is it sign, or anything, you know, and that's kind of how I started my process of manifesting stuff, and just <clears throat> doing my uh, natural magic, if you should say, well, some people say, I like to call it magic, um, but um, this is the these are the type of things that I life coach about. I haven't started. I felt like I needed to be lead by example. Um, a lot of people suspected me to like get my music popping, but I can't seem to just focus on certain things like that because it's everyday life situations that I get information and spirit gives me secrets and information that I have to share. And I feel the best way to share it 
it's through life coaching. So this is pretty much like step one, if that makes sense. So um, you know, I'm gonna be showing more videos of the house and how things come along, and I'll show y'all the outside later. I mean, over here it's pretty much been raining like a motherfucker, so it's not. I wasn't too excited to wait on the daytime because it's pretty much going to be cloudy and rainy and smuggy and all nasty looking. So it really didn't matter if I did it, did the uh, walk through the night or in the morning. So, you know, I'm just glad I get to show people. And my manifestation happened in a way that I'm not able to show any of my family, you know. Uh, my daughter is here with me, but other than that, you know, it's kind of like just me by myself, you know. And then I came to Atlanta, Georgia for this, so, you know, I'm thankful. I'm highly thankful. We have two, um, two, um, what are these called? Um, <laughs> porches. Uh, this porch and um my homie got the Mercedes though. My nigga. That's my partner right there. Like uh man, he got that blue Mercedes, has some G G G four four G idols or something. However the fuck you say that shit. But yeah man, it's been it's been it's been good. Everything's been good. Of course, Moving into a new spot, it's going to be certain things that, you know, might be a little stressful, but, you know, you got to get through it. And certain mishaps with me being such a positive, uh, with me being such a positive, spirited person, I'm trying to figure out if, you know, how different things, I think, you know how you come around certain people or you come around certain areas because mine's have my mine happens in a broader scale like say you move to a certain spot and then the person down the street passes away and the person the person down there passes away or the person down there you know or like um Somebody lose the job or something like just because of the energy it took to manifest what because literally this energy that I pull from comes from the ground. So it's really not like it's coming from a negative or a positive place. It's just actual energy that will help manifest whatever I need to manifest. So I've been seeing a lot of that with the moving here. But it's mainly with the movers. You get what I'm saying? Since this is an Airbnb, we're still waiting on furniture. They want this part of the house to look good for the person that's going to be written the Airbnb. And that's a way that we was able to get the apartment for uh, the cheapest price possible. You know, and it's Atlanta, Georgia, so still ain't cheap, you know. So, um... Yeah, everything's good. I'm telling you, I'm tired. We've been vibing out tonight. We've been drinking a little bit, smoking a little bit. Um, just vibing, eating, you know, vibing out. Um, but y'all stay up and be like, stay lit, literally. Ko Okan, Coach Ko Okan for some of you motherfuckers. Uh, finna get my stuff back together. I'm not sure if I want to, um, because mainly what I see life coaching is doing is somebody holding you accountable for the things that you want to do in life. It's you know, kind of like a therapist or a psychology, psychologist or a counselor, somebody that just can put, like, help you take the steps. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like when you don't feel it, I'm here to help you feel it. You know, and I'm here to guide you if you don't have the answers into the things that you need to do. But mainly mine is with uh, relationships and communication, period. It's, 
It's mainly with communication relationships. Um, so it could be communication at your job, at school, anywhere. You know, it's just I'm going to be able to help you decipher through the different ways people communicate, especially in this uh, society where a lot of people are, I would say, boss men. men they have a boss mentality. It's really narcissistic, but <laughs> we're going to keep it on like a boss level type mentality. So that's what I'm here for. Uh, so with love and any type of other thing you could think about when it comes to communication. So, yeah, even if it's like you want you want coaching on, talking to your parent about certain things or anything, anything. Uh, I'm like the communication guru out this motherfucker. So, stay abundant, be like, stay lit. Like I said the first time, you gotta stay lit. Literally. Lit. Okay. <laughs>